All right, so what do you reckon? Is the speed line better than the old Enfield? All right, good day. Saturday and I'm cruising down to rock and roll because the camera intel is telling us that the camel's coming in at about nine o'clock each night. So I'm gonna pull the yards shut and set it back to trap mode, which will uh, have two impacts. It's either A, gonna give me a whole load of fish in a barrel, or it's gonna push the camels elsewhere. So while I'm down there today, I'm going to set the yards, but also just do a little bit of a drive around and check some of the lines out from where those camels yesterday had scooted off to. Looking at the camera, there were only five camels that went in last night as opposed to the 30 odd that went in the night before. So the number's down and today's a little bit overcast and we really need to start protecting that water. So gonna shut it up, but those camels know where the water is. So they've been going in and regularly drinking there. So then they're enjoying that area. If I close the yards and they can't get in, they're going to sit down around the yards which means that they're going to be effectively locked in that area, in that region, which gives us the opportunity to get down there and take action. Today I've got two firearms. I've got the AIA, which I've been using for the last while, and I've also got the Verni Caron Speedline. The disadvantage with the Speedline is that it's only got five shot mags, and I've got three of them. They are extremely expensive magazines, and they are getting more and more difficult to get your hands on. So we will see how that goes. She's got a four and a half to 10 times optic on it, I believe. So yeah, that might be better for slightly longer shots, but you know, tool's a tool. So if we, um, if we get into any shooting today, we'll try them both out. All right, I've got a mob of camels. I'm gonna try something out different with the camera, which is gonna be on permanent horizon lock. These ones are uh, being disturbed by me using a tech screw gun. So I'm gonna get out and I'm gonna start with the speed line, I reckon. We'll see how that goes. Stop itch. Every gun has problems. Stop itch. All right. They're all down. Two rounds left.
Mag out. Mag release button. Bolt release. Alright, so that magazine's shit out. Uh, let's look at that for a distance. I've got one who's back over there, he's Cactus. These will be the stragglers from yesterday. The ones that got, did the old you sign on me. There he is. All right, we're at 50. Cactus camel. At a stoppage on this one. So we're at a hundred and a smidge over a hundred. Another cactus camel. All right, let's look at the ones that are out at 200. When I got rid of that bodgy magazine. Not much left. Throw and throw. It's the beauty of a throw weight. Alright, mag's out. It's clear. Ready for if we need it again. Alright, so what do you reckon? Is the speed line better than the old Enfield? I've only got two magazines for it which does reduce the amount of animals that I can take out in a bigger group. And they are a little bit slower to load. But that re lever release is really nice. Now both rifles have just been cleaned. So it'll be interesting to see how this thing stands up as I start to put more rounds down. When she heats up, when she gets a bit of fouling. 